I'm in Sea Point, Cape Town, South Africa, on the promenade next to the ocean, watching the sunset over the ocean and just checking who's going past. And now you can do it too. Do it with me. Construction of the Sea Point Promenade started in 1913 and it opened in 1914, which makes it over a hundred years old. It got its name long before that though, when one of the commanders that served under Captain Cook, a soldier named Sam Wallace, encamped his men in this area to avoid a smallpox epidemic that plagued Cape Town at the time. It eventually became a suburb of Cape Town in the early 1800s. It starts at Muyil Point near the waterfront and continues all along the rolling ocean right through the Cape Town suburb of Sea Point. I'm here to do some exercise today and where am I? I am at the Sea Point Promenade in Cape Town and this is one of the best places to visit in summer in Cape Town especially on a beautiful day like today there's no wind uh, it's sunny the sea is on my right hand side here next to me and it's a great place to come and have a walk on a sunny day and just relax Check the sea out, feel the sea breeze. It's a great thing to do when you're in Cape Town. So I'm gonna show you a bit of the promenade today, especially at sunset. You can see the sunset over the sea. And it's a great vibe. And yeah, I highly advise to come here and do this. Uh, it's also a good place to come and exercise, obviously. Check it out. What's your name, man? Eh? Bennett. Bennett? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Kimberley. And what did you do Are you permanently here now? Or I'm you just permanently here. I'm actually working on my jungle sticks, to looking for a living, like uh, to help myself, to help my kids and children. Like, I'm struggling. I'm not smoking drugs, using those stuff, but uh, I'm trying my best to help the others also in the street. Like, they have been like to see me all the way in Cape Town doing those things so I want them also like to change their lives to be accepting to do something at least to uh, stop asking people money or something you know like to do something at us or train something or what God can give you you know about nature so 
God give me this nature, they okay, call it the jungle stick. This is a jungle stick in my hand. This is my life. This is the thing that keeps me awake, give me something in my stomach and that's how I like it. So I keep it on. I can do shows, I can do adverts, I can act in movies, you can sing, I can dance, I can do everything with it. You can play with a fire also, put fire on. Depends, money, but it's not all about money, it's all about sharing, loving, Where did because you I love God. Where did you learn to do this? I landed here in Cape Town a long, long time ago. I grew up here because like my mother died a long time ago and, and I was 13 years old. So now I'm a big guy, so I'm still going on. I keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. How old are you? I'm 41. So what other jobs did you do? I do uh, like chef. I'm a big chef. I used to learn at uh, Table Bay Hotel. I used to grow up in Cape Town here by the, the home state, home state from home state, Don Bosco. And, uh, and I go back to Kimberley, I have a wife there and things wasn't going right and she married other guys so I exactly go away because it's like they get married and I want to fight with a guy and I go to jail and come back and go to jail come back but I don't have crime like you know. So, so you live in the street? Yes I live in the street. So how is it to live in the street? Is it safe or do you have to fight or is it okay? Uh, for me I can say it's not safe. Because uh, I'm not like sleeping at nights, but I'm sleeping, but I'm just sleeping one hour, one hour or like two hour. Every step what I hear, uh, I have to check with one eye. So you don't sleep exactly. The, the time I sleep is like in the morning times when people are around, people can see. But at nights, oh, at nights is like for me, like Dangerous. I have to one eye open, one eye close. As an ideal and as a consultative, it's a quality and as a director and receptor, receptor and a natural quality. That's because on a part and the olive are received is on a part and my prologue. And less and as a slogan and a sense of the land is on a part and the cleft knees, cleft ribs, and the high knocks in the is that and as a is approved. And the control thing and the acceptor, he only approve number and there's a big poster, he only conduct and the high number. Let's take a walk on the beach. Check it out. I found some beach treasure, this glass. What in there? So free. The promenade is 11 kilometers long and it is a popular place for long walks, jogging, cycling and even rollerblading. It hosts an outdoor gym, various artworks along the way, a children's playground and an Olympic sized pool where I used to swim as a child when we came down here from the Free State to visit family. My memories of those days are on the edge where Ford's drowned in the infinite haze of forgetfulness. So I must have been very young.
which way? <laughs> and where are you from? From Zimbabwe. You make this all yourself? Yes, I do, but myself can paint all these batiks. You've come a long way, eh? Five big animals, yes. <laughs> and your family? Yes, I've got four boys, a mother of four boys. Where are they? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so you go back for the, you come here for the summer? Uh, I come here for business to make some cells and making sewing as well here, but the materials from the Just a can. What's your name? My name is John. Where are you from? Mozambique. In late afternoon summers or early in the evening, you will find people socializing in the many restaurants and bars across the road that line the section of coast. Can you imagine all the people that walk this path? Imagine the conversations that were had next to the cold Atlantic Ocean. And all the foibles, celebrations and other events that happened in places where strangers interact. Taking a leisurely stroll along the Sea Point Promenade and stopping from time to time to sit and watch the ocean, maybe while playing guitar to the sunset, is one of my favorite pastimes. It is as close as I get to attend a church or a mosque. The ocean next to the promenade is my temple. It cleanses, calms and resets me when things get out of hand and the madness of existence threatens my sanity. Families, loners, the homeless and the wealthy and everybody in between, all taking comfort from the tranquil atmosphere that prevails and guides us like the invisible hand of an ancient and wise elder. It exudes a peaceful atmosphere that is desperately needed in a world that is currently ablaze and confused in the cauldron of separation, polarization and violence. There is much to learn from staring at the ocean as the sun sets at the end of the day. <laughs>